The Bakken oil formation of western North Dakota and eastern Montana has had its ups and downs. Today, there are about 60 rigs drilling. Kathleen Nesset of Nesset Consulting is a geologist and a sought after expert on activity in the oil field. She spoke to the Basin Electric Board this month and answered their questions about future technology and potential for carbon dioxide sequestration. This map shows western North Dakota. So these little green trees that I have out pictured here, this is a map current as of yesterday from the North Dakota Industrial Commission. Each one of those little green trees represents a drilling rig currently active. I believe, I didn't check the count this morning, but I believe we're right around 58 rigs drilling at this point. What do I see going on? I see more companies looking to do more drilling. Drilling is such a good indicator of what's going on with this business. So when people talk about the rig count, that is a good indicator. It talks about what the, you know, what the upside is. The production will last 40, 50 years, but we have to drill those wells first. We have about 14,000, just shy of 15,000 wells drilled in North Dakota. There's people that estimate that we will be needing somewhere in the range of 50,000 wells in the state. We're at 15,000. So when you talk, and I'm talking a well, one down, one lateral. We have multi-pads, but one well is one entry into the formation that produces. I think, you know, when we talk about enhanced oil recovery, recovery the, the secondary recovery, which is an enhanced method, just pumping water into a nearby well and pushing oil, that doesn't work in the Bakken. Number one, you know, we haven't figured out well enough how to, how to move through this tight, hard, concrete-like rock, but we don't know how to do it with, you know, CO2 and nitrogen yet either. But yes, I do believe that all of this is going to be a, it is now, it ha it ha that problem hasn't been unlocked yet. Nesset says about 8 to 10 percent of the oil in the Bakken is being recovered with today's technology. There is potential better technology could get it so that 30 to 40 percent could be removed.